New seismic imaging has revealed a volatile rich cap just 3.8 kilometers beneath Yellowstone's northeastern caldera. This cap sits directly above the magma reservoir and contains a pressurized mixture of rhyolite melt and supercritical water and carbon dioxide. The study confirms it is sharply defined, horizontally layered, and stretches over 25 kilometers in length. Reflected seismic waves showed strong signals from this depth. Modeling indicates the cap holds 14% porosity, with roughly half that space filled by supercritical fluid. This zone isn't passive. Gases are actively rising through it and escaping at the surface, especially near Mud Volcano, one of Yellowstone's highest gas emission zones. That flow keeps the system stable. But if those escape routes become blocked, pressure will build quickly beneath the cap. Its position makes it even more concerning. The cap lies within the brittle crust. This is the zone where ruptures begin when stress increases. It's also the depth linked to earlier Yellowstone eruptions. The deeper magma reservoir continues to receive new material from below. Mantle-derived melt feeds heat and volatiles into the system. The volatile cap is where those inputs collect and press upward. If the cap loses integrity, or if input increases beyond what it can release, the risk of explosive activity rises sharply. This cap is now the most critical structure in the Yellowstone system. It's real, it's pressurized, and it's active. Any change here could signal the beginning of the next phase.